I... This is Justin Kahn from the Decatur Herald and Review. Here's the LPGA Futures Tour Tate and Lyle Players Championship. This is the third day of the tournament here on Saturday. And uh, basically a, a big day for uh, two players, Valentin DeRay and uh, Tiffany Joe. Uh, Joe was uh, one of the leaders on the first day, kind of had, had an okay second day and, and looked looked early in this today like she was going to charge up and, and be the leader after round three. But then uh, sort of a back and forth back nine and, and DeRay really came on on the back nine and, and uh, uh, ended up at 12 under uh, for the tournament and uh, leads Joe by one shot. And they lead by two shots over Jane Ra, Sophie Anderson, and Mo Martin. Uh, Martin, of course, was the uh, second round leader. Uh, all three of those shot uh, even part of day uh, to remain at nine under. Uh, Duray uh, is someone, she's from Paris, France. Uh, doesn't have a, this is her first full year on tour. She played a few events as an amateur last year. She really, though, doesn't seem like somebody who's, uh, doesn't seem like a rookie or someone who's uh, can't handle the moment. She's a uh, very confident player and, and uh, look for her. Uh, one, her problem has been she hasn't been able to put together, you know, two, three consecutive good rounds, but she's done that now, three in a row and, and one more, and she can end up taking home uh, the title in this tomorrow. Uh, Joe's another player who uh, definitely looks uh, solid, uh, and she'll be the, among the leaders at the end of this too. Again, the leader here after three rounds is Valentin Duray. Uh, there's some uh, there's some debate on, on how her name's said, but uh, she said she doesn't really care. She goes with Valentine Derry or, or whatever you want to call her, but uh, officially it's Valentin Duray. Again, in second place is Tiffany Joe, a UCLA grad uh, at 11 under. Make sure you check out heraldreview.com for all the coverage.